New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Or the, no, they come from Rhode Island. And these people, some of them are my competition. And I like to spy and see who's getting more packages than me. Like it, packages for framing? Yeah, like that's a, like a couple sticks of molding and some tape. Mm-hmm. Does it really mean anything because we have like five different others that we get stuff from? But. Asking if, like, if this benefits like your art. Yeah, like, I don't haven't made art in years. Oh. Are you planning on going is back that, to that? Is that something? Probably like, not. Yeah. I mean, even when I was in school, I started to gravitate more towards administrative stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, like I said, I was thinking about wanting to do wanting to go to like a grad program for curatorial work, but mm-hmm. then kind of got over that and. Just did organizational stuff and just stuck with it. Also framing like for actual money because you don't make any money doing community art organization. Um, but for George, hopefully the benefit of having this space is that we have a gigantic basement and he is a painter and he actually does want to paint. So I, quite frankly, I don't have the brain for it anymore. And it happens. No. Is it is it beneficial though to have like this position where you're making like so many connections? Is what I'm saying. Oh yeah. So, like, yeah. It's always good to make connections. Yeah. I mean, for for us in this situation, like our connections are people that come in here and they're customers, mm-hmm. and so if we impress them, then they tell their friends yeah. and. So it's always good for us. I mean, and for. You know, I mean, there's a lot of, with a, with a frame shop, there's so much intersection with the art world. The majority of what we frame is fine art. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not just like, you know, dumb family pictures and stuff like that. It's everything, and like I said, mostly art. So for the, for the perspective of somebody like you guys, when you're getting out of school, like would I recommend going to work in a frame shop? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, never, our roommate works at the Hannah shop. Well, he just quit because they're like they're closing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but so we've seen that side. Of yeah. Right? No, Hannah shop is is a different animal. Hannah shop is sort of like this old school, like archaic. Like my friend, I've had friends that have worked there, and like you guys are like, did you work there? No. Oh. Our, our other roommate. Yeah, Shane yeah. Murphy. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's so familiar. He but like was, he was definitely probably like a freshman. He was there he, for like three years. So he four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was probably like a freshman when. But he every graduated. time you go in there, it's just the whole place is covered in glass everywhere. You can't walk anywhere. No, yeah. our basement and doesn't look like that. Like paintings everywhere. No, I just remember him talking about he'd have to frame like on the floor mm-hmm. because there was just no There's no space for anything. Do you want to see our basement? That would be cool. Yeah. I, I know. I was sitting, I'm like looking around, like, where do you frame it? Yeah. Because I'm just so used to the Hannah shop looking so yeah. ridiculous. Evan used to work over there and go visit him. We do have a pile of glass, but it's kind of like relegated to one area. Yeah. So this is, we put things together in here when we can, when they'll fit on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of messy because it's kind of. Weird week, but you know, we have an actual glass cutter that's mounted to the wall. We wow, that's awesome. Use these oh. things. Yeah, that's what. Oh. Um, so, like, Matt's and stuff, and Matt Cutter. This is like super archaic. Pretty much everybody has a computerized Matt Cutter now. Yeah, we have one of these like sitting around our apartment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Somewhere. Drive out press. Pretty much every. Like, we are pretty bare bones, but like, Hannah is like. Wicked yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we have like we you know we have a miter saw and we have a pneumatic underpinner so it joins the backs of the frames invisibly. Mm-hmm. So, so is it just you two that work here, like yeah. down here and everything? Yeah, cool. it's just us. So but this is like his studio as well. No, well it will be. I mean, that's, the workspace is really poorly organized, so we'll close for a week after Christmas and reorganize all of it and. We'll just sit him, like, I'll probably build a studio for him in that room there. That's awesome. 
this is our office, and there's cats in there. What? <laughs> oh, I was like, where? There's one My in that ass. chair, and there's one in that chair, but you kind of can't they see They, like, them. both blend in. <laughs> that's so bizarre. Yeah. Do you guys, do they like just live here? Or do you guys bring they're, here? They're staying in the basement temporarily because I would go with him in Gloucester and we can't have them there. Oh, cool. Uh, well, so. It's pretty warm down But it's nice. Like, they, yeah. It's yeah. Warm down here for the so they like it because they get to see people all day and if they weren't here, they wouldn't see anybody until like 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, exactly. But, cool. Um, okay. So, that's a. Uh, and that's pretty normal. Like, most frame shops have some, like nicer computerized equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. I would say work in a gallery, definitely, when you leave. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know how to talk about art, you know how to handle art. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could do framing, but, or like gallery, I don't know. Because we, in our show that we just had, it was like three weeks ago, mm -hmm. we had uh, this one kid that was in it, and it just like, he never showed up until like the last hour right before it was opening, and we were just mm -hmm. like, and then we didn't even know what stuff he was putting in, and then it was like in front, right next to my stuff, and it was like projection, and there was no lighting for it, and it was just like, so we were like, oh, when we go and like do this interview, we have to ask them about like terrible... Last-minute artists that just come in and throw their shit up. The, those people exist, but I think you know when you're when you're in school, you don't really get the opportunity to separate yourself because you're in class mm -hmm. with these people and you're kind of stuck with them. Yeah. But when you get out of school and you move on, you have all the potential to select who you work with and under what circumstances and. You can honestly, you know that, like, ideally, you wouldn't work with somebody like that. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> it's just, just keep in mind, it's just for now. You know, it's practically yeah. over. So, yeah, we're graduating in a week. <clears throat> so it's just, we yeah. Had, we had somebody else who didn't show up to deinstall. Yeah, we had to deinstall their stuff. Do, do your artists uh, come in and take help you at all? Like, no, we take it down. Wrap it up, store it, whatever. Until Not for it. too long, hopefully. What yeah. happens if they never come back and get it? Well, we do have that problem because there are artists here who have stuff from the previous owners. They've never come back to get it. The thing is, is like, like I said, you want to avoid like those situations where somebody does something you don't expect them to do, or where they're unreliable, mm -hmm. or you know, they're just gonna do some, you know, something shitty and the complete opposite of what you want them to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So from my perspective, like, we want to avoid people like that. And from your perspective, you want to avoid people like that. So, so what are you planning on doing with all the extra stuff that was left over? The artwork? I don't know. I don't know what to do with it because we don't have to, I mean, we don't even have time to do, like, normal human stuff. So yeah. we don't really have time to, like, go on a, you know, mystery tour hunt to find these people and give them back, like, their you know, stuff that's been here for 15 years. Yeah, jeez. Uh, yeah. But then, it, and of course, the other end of it is like, well, it's just going to sit here forever otherwise because I don't have the heart to throw it away. <laughs> but, so yeah, I mean, just, you know, keep that in mind. When you leave here, like, you define who you work with, you know? Yeah. So, and, you know, and just in the same end as, like, you're talking about an experience where you're working with a shitty artist. Like, galleries can be totally shitty. They can be really, really bad. They can, you know. Yeah, do you guys have like issues? Like, probably not yet, but we have issues where we're hanging things. Like, the walls were just so, like, have been used so much that my screws wouldn't even go into the walls. Do you mm -hmm. guys just, like, spackle over everything just like after every show or yeah well your pieces are really big right and they were yeah. wood cutouts yeah so for those you should probably be using anchors all right so you know that's something that you learn in a gallery and was, you know yeah that was sort of strange because we had like very little oh we had no gallery. help like setting it up we had no one from they, the gallery came they were just like here's a screwdriver like, like go ahead so they were supposed yeah, to I just come screwed like them the right first into the day and mm -hmm. give us like supplies and mm -hmm. tools and everything mm -hmm. that we would need 
Yeah. And they didn't do that until we were like almost done installing. That's unfortunate. And it, yeah, it was re- it was a bummer because it was just sort of like, well, now we've probably all done this completely wrong because mm-hmm. like, I don't think any of us really had gallery experience. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, none of us had ever worked like in any of the galleries, so yeah. But but at least it's it's cool that people can just drop their stuff off, and you guys know how to like do all the stuff professionally. And, like, yeah. Well, when, again, you know, like, once you leave school and you, like, when you have a relationship with a gallery, you know, in a normal sort of gallery situation, like, you need them and they need you. Mm-hmm. And you need to work out your terms and however that works. But, you know, part of the deal is, is that, like, you guys are the ones who make all the great work and we're the ones who put it, want to put it on our walls. So we're going to figure out how to do that part of it. Like, you've already done your part. Now you just need to make sure that everybody you know shows up when we have an event for you. But otherwise, we can make, we'll can we make sure it gets on our walls nicely, safely, and looks good. Yeah. If you want to talk about that part, where to hang stuff, we can do that. But, you know, outside of promoting yourself and making really good work, like the gallery should take care of the rest of it for you. Yeah. But obviously that's not going to happen for your seminar show. I know. Yeah. It, was, it was a huge shock. I don't know. I felt like they would be there. It like, was yeah. Lucas. So like, yeah. Them, so. Just feel that's like too bad. I don't know how the gallery works now. When I was there my senior year, I had to help everybody turn over their oh. seat senior thesis shows, so, like, I saw a lot of meltdowns. They were, like, <laughs> they were the only show this semester. Yeah. Wow. It's that, and then also they're, like, they're training a lot of new people because a lot of people are leaving at the end of the yeah. semester. It's, like, all seniors. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So they're, like, they, they, they put it on, like, a bunch of new people to come and help us, and they never showed up because they were Don't there. know how to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, too bad. I'm sorry that that was your experience, but you gotta well, kind of. It came out pretty. <coughs> yeah. Pretty, like, the show didn't look bad. I know what you're talking about with the projection, I want it to look a little bit unusual. Um, but was, what was your work? The fort, the big structure. And the That's right, and you guys did the performance. Mm-hmm. I didn't get a chance to see inside the structure, but um, I did see your performance where you were like yeah, wiping your hands. Yeah. And, yeah, that was pretty cool. Thanks. Um, you guys did a pretty good job. I mean, for the time and the help that we had. Yeah. But, yeah, it was okay. But you've got to think about it as, like, the beginning, you know, and it's yeah. only going to get better. I mean, I know, like, your senior year is a big deal, and your senior thesis show is a big deal, but you got to, like, you got to think, like, you're graduating in a week, so you got to figure out what the next move is, you know? Yeah. Like, just, you got to think you're only going to go up, so... Find storage too. I have no idea where I'm putting these things. Can you like mm-hmm. get a storage locker? I was thinking about setting up a program where people can like adopt them until I can like find a space. To, like, Foster them? Yeah. Are you uh, traveling or something? Or? No, I just, we live like above Maria, so like uh-huh. we'll probably stay there like forever. Yeah. But there's like really all the walls are slanted, so and there's like, we can't hang anything. Especially the mine, they're so large. Mm-hmm. I want to say our our ceilings are maybe as high as like where that black. Oh, yeah. So you can't like stand anything up in there. No. Yeah, so I just have all this, all these things in my studio. Oh, we did a studio at Porter Mill. Oh, I know. We should have got shame and split it. It would have been like a hundred bucks a month. Yeah. I just Are need they... ventilation because I do spray paint and just look kind of exciting. Some ways with ventilation. I don't know if I have any of that over there. Yeah, I don't think so. It would have to be like an outside garage type. Mm. Well, they do have an alleyway, like a huge alleyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Yeah.